In this video, I'll take you step by step making your own brick arches and lintels for your model buildings using Inkscape without having to go through an entire process of learning Inkscape. This is a simple, straightforward way to make custom arches and lintels that fit your model. I'm going to make a couple of assumptions. One, if you have Inkscape on your computer, it's free, go ahead and download it. And two, that you have some texture uh, that's for a brick that you cut down to a small size or use another program to make your own small brick texture. This is the building that I am using as an example. The small arches on the top are made using this procedure. Large arches on the bottom are made using another procedure that is linked below the video. The first thing we're going to do is to import and set up our bricks. So we're going to go to File, Import, and I have this set up, open, it's here. Now it's small, so I'll increase the size, see it, and work with it, bring it over. I'll go to Object, Rotate 90 degrees. Now I'm going to go up and set my height and width. I know the width. Then we get the height. Okay, now got to increase the size again so I can see it. It over here. Now I have to turn this into a path. I'll do that by making a square. I'll fill the square, go over to my fill and stroke menu, my stroke paint. I'll get rid of the stroke. Whoops, first thing I can do is select it. Stroke is gone, but I'll fill in the height and width again. The height. With all right, these two are the same now. What I'm going to do here, however, is turn that into a path. To path now, I'll select it, bring it over. Pop it in place, go to Object, Clip, Set Clip, whoops, mistake, back here I have to select both, Object, Clip, Set Clip, that is now a path and it can be used we move this up here, I'll show you this. We go here. What we're able to do is adjust that. To fit what we want. 
We can also scale it later. All right. These two functions will be important after you put the brick on the arc. All right, we have two uh, Inkscape files open. We have the brick file and the arch file. We go to the brick file and we'll copy the brick. Move over, arch file, and we'll paste that brick. It becomes an awful small. Let's get it a little closer here so we can move it. Alright, put it about over the middle here. Get this in the center so it's easy to work. Hit control plus a couple times. Bring it in where we can start to see it. I'm going to move it down a little bit to the center. Bring it up. Whoops. Now I'm going to go over, align and distribute. I'll select it too. And I'll center it. Now we're ready to start putting this on the arc. I'm going to make sure that this is on the top. We got that. Select them both. Extensions. Generate from path, scatter. I know from experience that I need an offset of about plus two to keep that brick on the top. If I don't have the brick on that, if I don't have plus two, if I have zero, the arc will go right through the middle. Cloned randomly, I'm not gonna go to live preview. I'm just going to apply. All right, the brick's in place. The next step will be to do some scaling to adjust this. The brick's in place. We can we want to fill these gaps a little bit. One way to do it very simply is to scale this out a little bit. Another thing you can do, or we need a node tool, and adjust, make some adjustments on the inside there, so you get a little bit of a try. Whoops, go back to node tool. Select it again. There we go. Now that's workable. You can refine it. I'm not going to waste your time refining, but you have an arch. All you have to do now is select it. 
copy it, control D, let's zoom out, move the copy, you're ready to print. Now in this building, like I said, I've got two types of arches. The uh, large arches over the doors are made using a different procedure. You can use arches like that over windows also. There's a link on how to do that below. And there's a link also to other Inkscape tutorials on making arches uh, in various forms and working with Inkscape in buildings. All is in this playlist that you see uh, in this end screen.